Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're going to be talking about the oscillator section. Um, so basically, it's quite simple. So this oscillator section is three oscillators. So we're just going to be focusing on one. Again, breaking it down mathematically. Uh, so um, how massive works is you have, you know, uh, each oscillator is basically two oscillators, right? And then you use uh, like a position or like, you know, or wavetable position to morph uh, between them to uh, get really interesting timbres. So uh, the first one we get is a, a saw square, right? So with our wavetable position all the way to the right, we get a saw, right? But on the other end, there's a square, you understand? So we morph that. We can get like a saw morph with a square, and we can get some really interesting timbres. So, what is a what is timbre? Timbre is basically sound. So, the difference between uh, an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar, they sound different. They have different timbres, right? So that's one one word to to learn today, right? So how massive works is there's morphing between two dimensions basically that's what the wavetable position does for you know our basic uh, tab here you right click or you don't right click you click on the top here and uh, you know you have a plethora of um, uh, oscillators classic oscillators uh, maybe you know a woody kind of FM one and they all they all look really unique in our signal analyzer which we'll go through right so getting a little ahead of myself uh, this little button here is how you actually turn the oscillator on, right? It's blue, so oscillator one is on. Two and three in our modulation one is off, right? Pretty cool. So again, wavetable uh, changes that. Uh, we have our pitch here. It changes the pitch. Um, pitches go up uh, in increments of 12. So 12, 24, 32, 40, 48, and whatever. Just, it keeps on going up by 12. So um, if you wanted to have, say, a sub-osc with turning the other oscillator on, you'd want this to go down to 12. Right, and it makes something. That sounded terrible. But, yeah, that brings me to my next kind of point, intensity. Now, intensity, it's it depends on the oscillator you are choosing or wavetable. Intensity, it can do some interesting things. Uh for uh, the saw square, it acts as a filter with a bit of resonance. So this is, in fact, its own filter. Right? You can see the resonance uh, from the partials. Right, and you can effectively turn. Uh, we'll, we'll have our square wave. And we can turn that into uh, kind of a sine square with uh, a lot of upper harmonics simply by changing the intensity knob here, which is pretty cool. Our amplifier, that's basically mix. Amplifier is volume. So all the way off, no sound, right? right and that is pretty cool, right? So uh, with that, uh, we have, I'll go over the different kind of oscillators, so different kind of sound generators. So we can go to uh, sine triangle. So this all the way to the left would be sine. And then it morphs into a triangle, right? And then that's basically, so each oscillator is, is in fact two oscillators, right? And there's some pretty cool ones like Woody. Right, some really interesting sound design possibilities there with just morphing. So think of this as like morphing. So I'll, I guess, you know, I'll have to show you uh, a very famous wavetable, right? And that is our talking bass. So basically what this is, is on the left, there's like a specific waveform and on the, r on the right, well, on the left, on the right. So each left and right, they have different uh, waveforms, uh, which in turn, you know, they have different uh, timbres. So you mix between them and then you get this sound. So this is that guy, right? They're separated 
and they're in the same key. They just have different timbres, but they're both kind of vowel-y. Right? And that's basically how you discover new things. So the, the dubstep guys do, or whoever uses it, they modulate the wavetable position or the morphing between, you know, docking bass left and right. You know what I mean? And this would be a filter. This would take away, this would shave off uh, the harmonics. So, you know, you'd use the intensity. So we'll go back to disto. Right, so this has, you know, it's quite aggressive, but we can kind of shave it. Right, and, you know, it's kind of a filter before our filter stage, which is really cool. So I want to give you this okay, case squelchy. Right, so this is a sine wave with like a lot of harmonic, random chaotic harmonics added to it above the fundamental. So this is uh, a sine wave that's frequency modulated. Right, very powerful engine. And then we can add more harmonics. So they double. And then they just become crazy. And then we can shave them off once again with our intensity. Right. So that is uh, the oscillators you'll be working with. And you can mix and match them. So think of it as like like a, a, a Moog synth on, uh, on drugs, basically. Or a Moog synth with different wavetables and the ability to adjust them. So we have one more little knob here. And that is our routing. So where, which filter um, does this oscillator go to? So uh, F1 and F2, they represent filter 1 and 2, right? So this oscillator will go to filter 1, or all the way down, this oscillator will only go to filter 2, right? And, uh, you know, that's basically how they're mixed. So if you have, if you have like a really like aggressive sound you want to drive a lot, uh, be it whatever, um, you'll have your sound going into your filter. You'll have, I guess, you know, scream, whatever. You'll boost this up, and uh, and this will go to filter one. But if you don't want our, your other oscillators, you want more of a gentle kind of filter, uh, be it high pass or low pass, uh, you would route this to filter two. So you can get some really unique sounds. So. Filters are awesome, but there's also, you know, a filter before your filter stage, uh, depending on which kind of program you select. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, in a, in a review, uh, we have this thing, oscillator on and off. Uh, we can select our different sound generators, which each sound generator is basically two sounds, more or less, um, and you mix between them so oops yeah i'm done right so that's too, they're, you're mixed and that's you know where that sound comes from uh we'll get into spectrum all that fun stuff later uh wavetable position yes that's the ability for you to mix between them intensity uh it adjusts the tone or the, the or it's a filter amplifiers volume you have your filter routing filter one or two or both the sound is split going into both filter one and filter two which you can get some nice effects and uh, pitch and these black guys down here black little boxes are for modulation uh, which we'll get into later all right uh, we will be back and uh, hope you learn hope you're learning stuff <laughs>